Today is the exciting day. I introduced to you my Emma Watson get the look video. If you guys know me, you know that I love me some Emma Watson. So once I found one of the skirts, I was like, oh, it's on. We're about to recreate this right now. We're gonna do an Emma Watson video. I also included a hair and makeup portion. Emma Watson's makeup is very focused on her eyes and just her eyelashes, so it's very natural. She almost always wears like a pink fuchsia -y red lip everywhere but only one of these outfits does she actually have a red lip instead i used this inspirational photo from her from paris fashion week when she went to the valentino show because that's like my favorite outfit my favorite makeup look so anyway i'm going to show you how i did the makeup i did the hair tutorial of course my hair is definitely not as beautiful as hers um her buns are always intricate and wonderful, beautiful works of art. So I just did an everyday girl, minimal skill level hair tutorial for you guys, just so you guys can kind of get the idea and get the intricate fun look going. Woo! So anyways, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start filling in my eyebrows. I use colors 8 and 9 in the Sonia Keshek palette with this small angled brush from e.l.f. to fill in my eyebrows. If you guys want to see a full tutorial on this, I will link down my video of my eyebrow routine down below. Next, I'm taking this small precision brush and dipping that into that black color in the palette. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eyelashes. And I'm just going to lightly dab that along. I'm also going to create this small wing effect. This is just an easy way to create a wing eyeliner look without using eyeliner. I'm also going to put that on the lower lash line and put that on my waterline as well. Next, I'm going to take those two colors that I mixed earlier for my eyebrows and I'm just going to put that along the lower lash line. This is just going to diffuse the two colors together and make it look seamless rather than this big difference in color. And then taking this sponge tip brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend that all together, especially on the top lash line, just so everything is smoky and blended. And it just makes it look a little bit more natural and kind of nighttime appropriate. Next, I'm going to add this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which is probably one of my favorites. And I'm just going to blink that through my eyelashes, especially on the outer corners, just so that everything kind of flares that way and really makes it dramatic. And, of course, on the lower lash line, just so that you can open up your eyes. And boom! You're done. That was pretty easy, right guys? I'm pretty sure you'll all be able to follow along, right? So, moving on to the face, I'm taking the Revo Chapstick just to moisturize my lips. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix the Neutrogena foundations together. These, this is my favorite foundation ever. I think it makes my face look really flawless and natural. I will recommend not to use a primer first. It just oxidizes differently. Next, I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to put that on the highlights of my face without actually putting too much because we still want the look to look very natural since that's how Emma rocks her everyday makeup. We're also going to go ahead and contour just slightly. I'm taking this cream contour kit from e.l.f. and I'm going to put that on the contours of my face and then also some blush. I'm going to mix the bronzer first and then go back and mix the blush. Usually she wears a lot of blush but for this look in particular her blush was a little bit subdued. Next, I'm going to dab this fan brush just slightly into this highlighter. I know it's a little hard, but we just want a small glow for this look. Very natural and soft. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the peaks of my eyebrows, nose, cupid's bow, all that good stuff. Next, taking the MAC Hug Me Con Concealer lipstick. <laughs> I use that as my natural lipstick color, but to make it a little bit more appropriate for this look, I put some concealer in the middle of my lips and then blended it out. So now I created a new lip color without actually having to purchase a new lip color. And that completes the makeup portion of this video. Now we're going to move on to the hair. Part your hair down the center and then split your hair before your ears and twist that back and secure it in place with two bobby pins on each side. I think this looks really pretty this way, but we're going to keep going. So put the rest of your hair up into a ponytail, not exactly at the nape of your neck, but a little bit higher. And you're just going to split it into two and twist that around the ponytail. I like to twist my hair in different directions when I do my bun. I just feel like it makes thinner hair look a little bit thicker. To add even more volume, just fan out those twists and secure it into place. 
And that completes the hair and makeup portion of this video. Let's move on to the fashion. This first look is very appropriate for a business environment or maybe like a professional brunch. I think it's so easy to accomplish and very easy to recreate. First, you're going to need a white blazer. I got mine from Shein.com. I think a white blazer is perfect, especially for the spring and summer, to add a little pop to your outfit. I took a black tank top from Forever 21 and black jeans from H&M to complete the blacked out look of this outfit. And then this dainty little necklace from Rachel Roy from Macy's, I think adds the perfect touch. And then of course, the chain linked wedges. I got mine from Just Fab. I think they look perfect. And that completes our first outfit for this video. Something very simple and easy for you guys to do. Next, this is the Valentino outfit that I was telling you guys about earlier. This is where the hair and makeup look came from. This outfit is definitely my favorite one. I love everything about it. First, we're going to take this leather jacket that I got from Shein.com and then this bralette and skirt combo I actually got from Styles for Less. They don't go together, but I put them together and I think they worked so perfectly. Matching separates are definitely in style right now, especially ones with least detailing. So if you want an outfit for an evening out, I would definitely recommend this combination right here. I also paired it with this geometric clutch and some red classic pumps to complete the look. And of course, for that edgy chic vibe, add a drop earring to the side with the bun. And boom, you is fly, girl. You is fly. If you live somewhere where it's really hot, just throw the leather jacket over top like I did here. And that's just going to create a classic look. Outfit number three is actually really cute. I felt as if I was walking through New York City and my heels were just tossed into my purse and I was getting ready to go to work. <laughs> I did get this um, trench coat like thing from a website it didn't look as chic it came with gold buttons so I just went to Michael's and switched out the buttons brown buttons on a trench coat is seriously a way to chic it up and make it look a little bit more classy and expensive after the trench coat the rest of the outfit is pretty basic it's just a white t-shirt and black bodycon skirt both of which I got from forever 21 and this simple necklace is the same necklace I wore before I just flipped the little tassel over big wide sunglasses and then she wore loafers, but I don't really like loafers, so I picked up these slip-ons instead from Wet Seal. Outfit number four. This is such a great airport look. I actually traveled, and this bomber jacket and those heels are perfect for the airport. It was so comfortable, and I felt so chic and put together without trying too hard. First is the bomber jacket, of course. I got mine from Forever 21. I really like it because it's like adding a leather jacket, but much more comfortable and sportier. Next, you're just going to need a gray graphic t-shirt. I got mine from Forever 21. It says Choo Choo de la Semaine, <laughs> I want to say, and that says Teacher's Pet, which I think is quite fitting for me. And I'm just using that same black purse. This is very Givenchy inspired, and I got this from Just Fab. The same black jeans from H&M, and then complete the look with these Chelsea booties and these are from forever 21 i especially love these because of that gold detailing on the inside of the boots that is so dope like who else has shoes like that that's awesome so altogether, this outfit was pretty easy to recreate i have another airport style look i don't know if i would wear this one exactly to the airport not exactly my favorite for traveling but because i get cold <laughs> but i think it's so cute nonetheless so i'm using this leather jacket from sheen again Add a basic gray t-shirt to that black bodycon skirt from earlier and then for the necklace I just threw two rings through this chain just to create the same illusion without having to buy another necklace. Then pair that with some Ray-Ban like sunglasses, the same Chelsea booties and of course the sheer black tights to really pull the look together. I think this is super cute. I don't think I would wear it to the airport like I said earlier but for a night out I think it's perfect. And now for the final outfit, this is another one that is also very easy and simple to recreate, but I think it looks perfect and you look incredibly chic and professional. I felt very long in this outfit because of the maxi skirt and how it was high waisted. So if you're a shorter or petite girl, I think this is a good look for you. So really embrace your petiteness. <laughs> Starting with the white top, this is from Uniqlo and I especially like this one because the collar has that curved look to it. I think it just gives a feminine touch the, to the collar top instead of having the pointed tip. Then this gray skirt is actually from Amazon and then I paired it with this white belt from Shein. I used the same geometric clutch from earlier from Just Fab and then since I didn't know what shoes she wore I just wore a classic 
um, these classic heels that are very in style right now, I think it was just easy to go with a nude heel instead. Now for this red lip, which is very Emma, I just mixed this NARS and Wet n Wild lipsticks together. I'll have those linked down below as well. And that's it guys, that completes the final look. Let me know down below which look was your favorite and of course, who you want me to recreate next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you need some additional Emma Watson inspiration, I do have a Pinterest board with her style all over it, so I will link that down below for you guys as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am so happy you watched and I'm just so excited for this video. Um, all the outfit details will be on my blog down below, so go ahead and click that and, you know, check it out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr. I do put everything on there first, so if you want to be in the know, you can follow me there. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye! <laughs> so it was very exciting. What? Six message? <laughs> so hot. <laughs> yeah, it's a word. Even though it's hot outside, I don't know to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. Woo! Yeah, it has like a little skirt on the bottom, and then the bottom is clear. Or see yeah. here. It's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you can't